marriage. Clearly, we've heard about monogamous pair-bonding species. In terms of the formal structure of marriage, it is universal. All human cultures have some version of it. Across all human cultures, more than 90% of people wind up in that culture's equivalent of a permanent, stable relationship. And this is the case in polygamous cultures. We've already heard that business, even though historically the majority of human cultures have been polygamous, nonetheless, amid them, the vast majority of individuals individuals have been in monogamous relationships. Amid that, nonetheless, what is also clear is, amid that highly, highly prevalent pattern of monogamous relationships, there's a lot less monogamy going around than you would think. And this was first sorted out, people like Alfred Kinsey, when first working out that questionnaire approach to people's sexual behavior, what became clear was there's a lot less faith within pair bonding, within, human speech, within humans in this country, and has since shown in all sorts of other societies than one would originally assume there is social monogamy, but not necessarily anywhere near as high of rates of sexual monogamy. And what the paternity studies have shown is in most Western European countries, the rate at which children have been fathered by an individual other than the person claiming you know, marriageable credit for doing so ranges between 10 and 40% of children. How's that for a number? Okay, what else? What else tends to be a feature of human sexual behavior? What you have is, of course, not only intrinsic in the fact that there's a difference between social and sexual monogamy, you have cheating. That is a human specialty in every culture. What else is absolutely wildly human? This notion of romance. And romance is, by most sort of estimates, a relatively new invention in most cultures, maybe a couple of centuries old. And what is an even newer invention is the notion that romance, passion, etc., should persist, should last throughout the entire duration of a lifetime's marriage. That is an utterly novel concept that is perhaps 30, 40, 50 years old in most westernized countries. That's a new one as well. What that, of course, ushers in is looking at issues of divorce across all cultures. The average duration of marriages are two to four years. And people have made the argument that that is the typical duration of children being dependent on a high degree of parenting, of both parents being around. That is the average interbirth interval, two to four years, in most traditional human cultures. What's the term being described then if that is the natural point at which most marriages dissolve and turn into other monogamous relationships? The term that is given is that humans tend toward, tend toward being serial monogamists, moving from one monogamous relationship to another with, on the average, a lag time roughly corresponding to the interbirth interval. So that's charming. 